What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. T. Money, nineteen ninety three. Back with another vid. Got my uh, picks of the week video, and also got some other news at the end. Um, first game, I got uh, Baltimore at Cincinnati. Um, Cincinnati already has their division locked up. Um, Baltimore is trying to win, and I think hoping for some help to make the wild card. I have Cincinnati winning at home. Um, especially, I, I just think Baltimore is a different team on the road than they are at home. This game was in Baltimore. I got Baltimore winning, but they're not the same. Jacksonville at Indianapolis. I got the Colts winning. Um, Colts already have the division locked up. Jacksonville didn't have too great of a year. Jets at Miami. Um, Miami needs this win to go to the playoffs, and I think they'll get it. I got Miami. Um, Jets right now just playing. They're hoping to save Rex Ryan's right job, but I don't think they will. Detroit at Minnesota. Um, I have Detroit winning. Detroit's out the playoffs, though. Jim Schwartz might lose his job, but I have them beating Minnesota. Minnesota is just a mess, and they're going to need a lot of work. They went from being a playoff team, and now that defense is looking old, and it's just looking weak this year. Washington at New York. Um... Teams, uh, it's two teams that's not going to the playoffs and had downfall years. New York, weak secondary. Their <laughs> line is good, and they're playing against Kirk Cousins in New York. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go Washington. I think Kirk Cousins is gonna be able to dice up that giant secondary, and uh, Pierre Garcon and the rest of them boys gonna have a big day. Cleveland at Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh still hoping they can some kind of way make the playoffs. I don't see it happening. Cleveland, I think, played them tough last time. But I have Pittsburgh winning. Yeah, I'm going to go Pittsburgh. Um, Houston at Tennessee. Houston is just, oh, they're such a mess. They need a quarterback. They better hope Aaron Foster's injury problems go away and Andre Johnson can be healthy. Um, that Andre H Johnson, DeAndre uh, Hopkins connection may work, but I got Tennessee winning. That defense is playing lights out. Ryan Fitzpatrick is not looking that bad at quarterback. I have Tennessee winning. San Francisco at Arizona. Um... This game, Arizona is hoping that the Saints will lose so that they can make the playoffs. San Francisco, if they beat Arizona and the Seahawks lose in St. Louis, we would get the number one seed and home field advantage. But honestly, I have Arizona winning in Arizona. Their secondary lights out. That defense is nice. Now, if their offense can get enough points... They may be able to win, but I'm I'm gonna go Arizona and uh, what they call it stated the toaster. Green Bay at Chicago. Um, Aaron Rodgers is starting, but we don't know how healthy he is. In Chicago, I got Chicago. Um, Chicago's problem is not their secondary; their problem is run defense, and I don't know if Eddie Lacy is gonna be able to have a lot of success. Um, Chicago. I do not know how Alshon Jeffrey did not make the uh, Pro Bowl. That is crazy to me. One of the best young, talented receivers. I probably put him and Josh Gordon up there. Uh, I'm going to go Chicago. I think Matt Forte runs all over that Green Bay defense. Buffalo at New England. Uh, for New England, this is probably just going to be a tune-up game. I don't even know if they're going to play their starters. But I think they still beat Buffalo. Tampa Bay at New Orleans. <sighs> Tampa Bay <laughs> wise, um, that defense is good. If they're gonna some kind of way win this game, 
I think they're going to have to be have a lot of success running the ball. I don't think they can play straight up. We're going to try to outscore them. That's not the way to go. Uh, we kind of laid down a formula for a way to beat New Orleans. You kind of keep it a close game, play defense, get your run game going. That's how you kind of beat them. Um, to be safe, because it's in the Superdome, I'm going to go New Orleans. But I'm going to say this. Don't be surprised if it's a closer game than what you think it is. Denver at Oakland, Denver all the way. Denver already has top seed lined up. Oakland is a mess. They're hoping to get Terrell Pryor back next year and to surround him with an offensive line. Um, Kansas City at San Diego. The Sa- I don't think San Diego has a shot at the playoffs. But uh, Kansas City is going to get that win. St. Louis at Seattle, in Seattle. Um, Seattle lost last week to Arizona in Seattle. St. Louis secondary is nice. I mean, uh, Saint, not their secondary, their defensive line with Quinn and Long and all of them. Um, this is going to be my upset pick, actually, for this week. I'm going to go St. Louis getting the win in Seattle. Um... I just, I mean, Seattle looked kind of a mess last week, and I, I hope they get it together for the playoffs, because uh, it would be great to meet them in the NFC Championship game, but I don't know from the way they looked last week. Um, Philly at Dallas, um, Dallas with no Tony Homo, um, in Dallas though, Nick Foles struggled with Dallas last time before he got knocked out the game. Um, I'm going to go Eagles in Dallas to lock up a playoff berth. And uh, they'll be playing the Saints most likely. Panthers at Atlanta. Last, uh, my last pick. Of course I'm going, you know, Panther Nation, stand up. We're going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to address that in another video. But like I said in my last one, we're going to go ahead and win that NFC South Championship. Um, Roddy White doesn't scare me. St- um, you already know nobody's running on the Panthers like that. So, I'm going to go Panthers. We're going to win. We beat them, what, 31-14 in Carolina? I'm going to say we're going to beat them 28-2. Do I give them a, do I give them a touchdown? Yeah, I might give them a touchdown because Tony Gonzalez might push off on somebody. I'm going to say 28-7, 28-10 is going to be a final score. Panthers win. Uh, now, the other news that I had, the Pro Bowl is, the Pro Bowl stuff is officially out. And Panther Nation, we have five players going to the Pro Bowl. Um, Luke, of course. Cam. Greg Hardy. for his. I think this is his first appearance going. Um, Mike Tolbert for fullbacks, and uh, Ryan Khalil. This is the most Pro Bowlers we had, I think, since the 96 season when we went to the NFC Championship game. Who we played? We played the Packers. Um, but, yeah, two people that I thought might have had a chance but didn't, Thomas Davis, which is crazy, but, you know, Carolina's not a big – we don't play that many games on prime time. We're not a big, you know, even though we had the best defense this year. Um, so, Thomas Davis is not going. He, he probably, uh, they said he had enough from the coaches' vote and from the players' vote, but the fans just had him too low. Mike Mitchell's not going, which is crazy to me. Um, uh, one of the top safeties, especially in NFC. Um, Thomas Davis, I think it's more of because he doesn't have the high sack numbers that a 3-4 outside linebacker would have. Because, you know, like a Clay Matthews or something like that, they're, getting the, they're able to pressure the quarterback every single play, which he's not able to do. So Thomas Davis and Mike Mitchell's not going. Charles Johnson probably would have been going, but he got hurt. But I think he still has somewhere around 10 sacks, I think. Not sure. But, yeah. So we got five players going to the Pro Bowl. Um, hopefully, if they still do it before – did they change it back yet? If they still do it before the Super Bowl, hopefully we won't have any players going and we'll have to pull out all five. Um, but this is your boy, Mr. T-Money, 1993. I'm up out of here. Peace.